If you're a gamer, chances you've heard more than your fair share of the violence in video games debate. We've all heard politicians, newscasters, and angry moms try to turn games into the devil, and we've gotten pretty good at defending them as a result. We've set up studies proving our innocence as a medium, and it's gotten to the point where we can defend any argument calling us anything close to a bunch of crazed killers. But is it possible we're dodging another question, one that's harder to answer? Is all that violence really necessary? We can argue that it doesn't do any harm, sure, but does that mean we need it in our games? Can we get along fine without all the gore and anger our games have? There have, after all, been plenty of games that have stood the test of time without any sort of combat at all. Is Tetris or Portal any less of a game for not having a combat system? Would Super Mario Bros. or Pac-Man be any less of a game if they had non-violent objectives? Think of the last game you played where you're not supposed to harm an enemy in any way. Not easy, right? Maybe you've played some indie title lately that lets you do without, but even those eventually lend the option to play with combat. Are we really so desensitized that we can't engage in our favorite fantasy land without having to hurt or punish someone? We're not trying to argue the violent video games are good or bad. It's been done to death, and <laughs> honestly, no one wants to hear it. But is it possible that we can find other forms of challenge in our games? Or does all that violence serve a purpose that can't be met otherwise? What do you think? Leave your thoughts in the comments below.